guys, welcome to a new episode of Beauty Beacons of Fiction. Today we are going to talk about Lucy Honeychurch. Lucy Honeychurch is the main character in A Room with a Few, which is a 1908 novel by E.M. Forster. It is about Lucy Honeychurch and her chaperone who go on a holiday to Florence and find themselves in their hotel in rooms without a view. Now, luckily, two gentlemen who are also staying at the hotel offer to switch rooms with them to offer them a room with a view. And the story kind of revolves from there. I'm sure you can guess where it goes. It's a pretty classic romantic tale. And it has also been adapted into other formats over time. And I think the most popular adaptation is the 1985 movie with Helena Bonham Carter as Lucy. Honeychurch and I'm gonna admit here that when I started receiving requests for Lucy Honeychurch as a beauty beacon of fiction I didn't know that A Room with a View existed so I watched the movie and where has this been all my life? It has everything! It has Helena Bonham Carter and Maggie Smith in a Edwardian setting, a classic romantic tale, beautiful costumes, beautiful hairstyles, it is... it is perfect. It's just perfect. I highly recommend you watch it if you're into that type of stuff. Yes, today I am going to show you how to recreate Lucy Honeychurch's look from the 1985 movie A Room with a View because I know we all love us some Edwardian hair and this is quite good and not that hard to do at all. So we're gonna get to the hair later. I'm gonna start with the makeup and as we have a younger Helena Bonham Carter here, I'm not going to go as crazy on the contouring as I have when I've done her looks before. But to begin, I'm gonna start with a layer of foundation to even out my skin tone. I'm just gonna blend this all over my face and then go in with some concealer concealer to cover up my dark circles and when everything is blended nicely I'm going to coat this in a layer of powder just some translucent powder to set everything and mattify my face now with any historical movie you can always see when it was filmed by the way they do the hair and makeup even if they try to make it as historic as possible you can always kind of tell so Helena Bonham Carter is definitely sporting some very 80s eyebrows at least in this movie. So we're gonna go there. We're gonna go nice and full and bushy, <laughs> but keep it natural looking because this is obviously a no makeup makeup look trying to, you know, emulate a Edwardian look. So I'm gonna keep it natural and I'm gonna kind of get inspired by Helena's eyebrows. So I'm gonna make mine a little bit longer on the tail. I'm gonna make them nice and sharp at the top and kind of straight at the bottom. And I'm also going to go for a little bit of a kind of slanted pointy almost shape towards the bridge of my nose. I'm gonna do that with an eyebrow pencil and then I'm gonna go over with a tinted eyebrow gel to kind of get that natural look back so that you can really see my individual hairs and also to make them nice and bushy. So I'm gonna brush them up so that they kind of stick out of my eyebrow and just look extra full and luscious. 80s eyebrows. <laughs> so the rest of the eyes I'm going to leave bare apart from that tiny little layer of foundation that I applied over there earlier. I'm just going to apply a little bit of mascara on my top lashes only and when I have done that I'm gonna go over with a clean spoolie and just remove kind of the clumps and comb through them to make my lashes look super natural. All right now on to the cheeks. I am going to do a little bit of kind of bronzing, contouring-ish. Not only to get a more kind of Helena Bonham Carter amazing cheekbone, but also because it does look like she's wearing a little bit of bronzer in some of the scenes. So I'm just gonna place that right underneath my cheekbone or kind of underneath slash on top of it. And also underneath my jawline to just make my face look a little bit more square and a little bit more like Helena's. So we're almost there, all there's left to do is apply a little bit of lipstick and I feel like she's wearing a little bit of a peachy lipstick in the movie. I currently don't own any peachy lipsticks because they look absolutely horrible on me. So I'm gonna go for a rosy shade. If you want it to be more authentic, you may want to go for a peachy kind of corally one, but rosy works just as well. So I'm just gonna apply this subtly by just dabbing it onto my lips and then blending it in with my fingers. And there's the makeup look already done. No makeup makeup looks are the quickest, simplest things to do. So let's move on to the really exciting bit and that is hair. Edwardian hair. Since Lucy in the movie is young and unmarried, her hairstyle is a lot less complicated than kind of proper grown-up hairstyles would have been. So that makes it a lot easier to replicate and I feel like it looks very flattering. So I'm gonna start with a few strips of extensions in my hair just because she has this 
gorgeous mane that my hair comes nowhere close to. So just to be able to get as close to the original as possible, I'm applying a few extensions. Feel free to skip this step as always, it is not necessary to achieve the desired result. So when I have those in, I'm going to spray my hair with some heat protector and sea salt spray. Both of these are going to help me, first of all, obviously protect my hair, but also create a little bit more texture and grip so that my hair really comes out nice and curly because Lucy's hair in the movie looks like uh, natural curls, obviously that have been brushed out as they would have done back then. So I need these curls to be kind of sturdy so that I can brush them out without losing them. So after I've done that I'm gonna split my hair in half, start with the bottom half and I'm gonna curl this with a pretty thin curling iron. This is the thinnest one I have. Again just to be able to really brush these curls quite violently later on and not lose them. So every time I finish a curl I'm going to pin it up to my head to really give them the opportunity to cool down and set in the shape once again to make them nice and sturdy. So I'm gonna do that all over my head and when I have finished everything I'm gonna give this a few minutes to completely cool down and set then I'm gonna remove my pins again and start brushing this. I always find it kind of funny when people are new to my channel and they are absolutely horrified when I take a brush to curled hair. <laughs> and I'm just like, welcome to historical hairstyling, yay! <laughs> this is going to look big and frizzy and poofy, but that is what it looks like in the movie and I think it is beautiful and it does really give that beautiful kind of Edwardian volume, so we definitely do want to do this. And after I have brushed my hair, I'm gonna separate out the front and this is going to create my beautiful large Edwardian poof in the front here. Now Lucy usually, well for most of the movie she's wearing a hat anyway, but when she's not wearing a hat you can see that her hair is kind of swept to the side a little bit. So I'm going to try and imitate that, but what we definitely want to do is tease this. Tease it like there's no tomorrow. Well not 18th century tease it, but kind of like, you know, slightly more moderate. <laughs> so I'm going to do about the front half of my hair I think, up until kind of behind my ears and I'm gonna tease in layers going forward so that it's all nice and back combed. And then I'm gonna kind of smooth over the top and pull this back and then in the back I'm going to twist it backwards, kind of away from my face to create a little roll and pin that to my head right at the back there. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side as well. So it should look something like this and I'm just pushing my bobby pin kind of into the roll so that it disappears in there and you can't see it. And then with the rest of my hair I'm just gonna brush it one more time because my curls have separated by now. May have made them a little bit too durable. <laughs> so I'm gonna just brush again and then separate this hair into three sections, make a nice and simple braid. Just your regular braid. And then when I come all the way to the bottom, I'm going to fasten it with the infamous bow clip. Yes, I know I keep using this in videos and I am so sorry guys, but I honestly don't know where it's from. I've had it for years, I've had it since I was a teenager and I may just have bought it at Claire's. And then I'm gonna go back and kind of loosen it up by just tugging at it. It wouldn't be a loopsy video if I didn't do that, but also her hair is braided more loosely, which is much easier to do on someone else than on your own hair, especially if it's a straight braid down the center. Uh, so I'm just gonna go back and do that. And there is the hairstyle already done as well. So there is your Lucy Honeychurch room with a view, 1985 slash Edwardian <laughs> look completely done. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I have to say this look is probably one of my personal favorites. I absolutely love this. People often ask me if I go out in these styles. Usually the answer is no, but today definitely yes. I would live in this gladly. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for loads more beauty and lifestyle content. If you would like to support me on Patreon, there will be a link in the description box below. Thank you so much for your support, guys. There's another video here that you may also enjoy. You can go watch next. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!